Hi everyone, uh, my name is Matan Kedar from uh, Thomson Reuters and uh, I would like to talk to you about uh, our uh, workflow in GitLab. But first, a uh, couple of words of who, uh, who are we and what we are doing. We are a Clear Forest a startup who was acquired by Thomson Reuters in 2007. We formed the uh, TMS group, Text Metadata Services. What we bring to the table is uh, uh, state-of-the-art NLP and oligograph uh, techniques and algorithms. For those who are not familiar with the terms, uh, NLP is natural language processing, which means given a text document to the computer, what the computer can understand from it. A knowledge graph means given all the information that the computer extracted, what can be done with it. Um, we are a source of intelligent information for uh, both uh, professionals and businesses all around the world. And we provide our customers with a competitive advantage. After saying that, let's continue. So uh, what features are we using in GitLab? Uh, we use the Git source control management, of course, otherwise Tamir wouldn't have invited me today. Uh, we use merge requests. We integrated GitLab with Jenkins and uh, Slack, and we use the issue tracking. I will deep dive each of uh, these bullets later, but first let's, uh, let's visualize our workflow. First, uh, a new issue is created. Issue might be a bug report or a new feature request. And uh, the issue is created by either a developer or one of the QA uh, team members or even a product owner or a project manager. After the issue is created, a developer is assigned to the issue and writes some code in order to solve the issue, some code to, to solve the bug or writes the new code to, uh, to implement the new feature. And afterwards, the developer creates a new merge request. Right now, the new code is stored in GitLab, but not in our master branch. It's important. The next step is that another developer and our Jenkins are reviewing the code. The developer uh, reviews the code, checks if it is written properly, and satisfies all the requirements. And the Jenkins, in the meanwhile, uh, executes some tests and checks that everything is working. When they both approve the new code, then uh, it is merged to our master branch because the merge request is accepted. OK. So now we deep dive about what we saw. Uh, we use the issue tracking mechanism in GitLab. Uh, we are working on an ordered backlog, map to issues. Most of our issues are uh, uh, feature requests or bug reports. We have some uh, open discussions, but the majority of the issues are uh, belong to this kind. We use a very nice uh, feature of GitLab, which is uh, markdown templates. Here is an example of uh, a new template of a bug report. We created this template in order to help the QA guys to help us better understand what happened. So uh, this template uh, contains a short description of what happened. Uh, the system is a web application, so uh, description of the full uh, HTTP request, uh, what is the expected HTTP response, and then the markdown is rendered to a very nice human readable format. Um, this is an example of our uh, issue bank. This is some uh, issues that we have. And we also use the issue board, which uh, enables us to display the issues by status. So we can better understand what is happening in the project. Here we can see that uh, there are some issues in our focus set, what issues are uh, getting attention. In this column, we can see what issues are actually being worked on by the developers, uh, what issues are being tested. And of course, which issues are completed. Um, OK. The next step is assignment. The developer is being assigned to an issue. In this uh, screenshot, uh, we can see that there is an open issue, and a developer is being assigned to the issue. There is a very nice feature in this button 
which is uh, creating a new branch according to the issue. Uh, each issue has a unique feature branch and uh, in this way we can link between the code and the business together. So uh, it, uh, it helps us organize our workflow. The next step is merge requests. Uh, the, the merge request prevents bad code to be merged to our master branch. Uh, each new code is being reviewed by either a team member and uh, Jenkins. So it enables us to incre increase the knowledge sharing of the new code between team members. Uh, moreover, when a new code, uh, when a new merge request is created, then Jenkins uh, concurrently runs some tests on it and builds the system. So we can better we can, we can assure that new code does not break the system. Um, yeah, I already said that. Okay. Uh, I uh, mentioned Jenkins. So, uh, as said, for every merge request, Jenkins executes a full build of the system on the new code. So, uh, Jenkins is actually another team member. If uh, all team members vote for uh, a certain merge request, then Jenkins also votes, and we can and we uh, decide if accept or not accept the merge request according also according to the merge, to the Jenkins uh, decision. Moreover, Jenkins provides us with build reports for every build, which tests failed, with, for running times, etc. Uh, and of course, when a merge request is approved, then Jenkins uh, deploys the new code to our uh, production server. This is a screenshot of, uh, of uh, Jenkins, of a failed build. And as you can see, it provides us with uh, some useful information. For example, uh, what is the reason for creating this build? Uh, what is the uh, list of changes in this commit? And of course, a report of which tests have failed. Uh, as mentioned, we also integrated the GitLab with our uh, uh, Slack uh, chat service. Uh, for those who are not uh, familiar with, uh, Slack is a, a chat service which enables us to communicate uh, and also run some chat ops. Uh, we created a bot of Slack and uh, we treat it also as, a, as an equal team member. We get notifications when a new issue is being created and uh, when a merge request is created and then another team member can uh, know about it and then better respond. Uh, and, we are, and we get a notification when a merge request is approved. So we know when a new code is actually being merged to the system. We tried to get notifications on comments, but it was too noisy, so we canceled. We disabled the feature. And again, the result is that the team is always aware of the project status. So in order to conclude, uh, merge requests enable us to increase the knowledge sharing between all the team members. New code is always and continuously tested. Uh, it prevents bad code to be merged to our code base. We, keep it, we try to keep it very sterile. Uh, again, we can link between issues and merge requests between the code and the business. And we do this by commits. Uh, the result is the development process is well ordered. It, uh, GitLab helped us uh, uh, to be organized. Uh, and of course, to, uh, it enables the team to be better aware of the project status. This is my uh, last slide. So if you have any questions. 